Sean Dillon Kelly has, at the age of 16, been on the Supersport podium five times this year. In Supersport Race 1 at Sonoma, he suffered a mighty setback. Did he whine and quit? No. He got right back on that Gixxer 600 and overcame the next obstacle. Grid positions in Race 2 are based on lap times in Race 1. Tell me about this race. You started dead last on the grid, and you went all the way to sixth place, and you were almost fifth. Talk me through it. Man, absolutely. This race was uh, really, really crazy. Obviously, you know, starting from last was not an easy task. Man, after yesterday was uh, was pretty intense for me. Pretty lucky to be here, first of all. Pretty lucky to uh, to have been able to race in the first place. Um, it was it was very difficult, to be honest. Uh, Starting from last, you know, was a uh, very physical. First of all, this is probably the most physical track, and every session I went out, I haven't been able to do more than a few laps without getting arm pump. And uh, I told myself, I'm like, man, I don't know if, how much I could do of 19 laps, but um, I said, you know what? I'm in last place. I can only go one way in terms of position. So at the end of the first lap, you had to have made up five, six places right there. Uh, I actually think I made up a little bit more than that. I think I made almost almost 10 places in the first lap. Um, actually, first lap, second corner, there was a, a bit, pretty big crash. Um, someone went off track, and there was a bunch of, uh, of dirt everywhere across the whole. The bike was crossing the track, and um, everyone was kind of going wide. And I was obviously back there, so uh, that was just barely the second corner. So I was like, oh man, <sighs> very difficult, you know. After that, you know, I, that that crash actually made up a, a pretty big gap between the first the first uh, 15 or so. So um, I already had like a two two seconds or so on the first lap. So. What was your mindset? Man, honestly, I was kind of surprised uh, the first when I realized that the first three or four laps that the front group wasn't really getting out, uh, way too much. Uh, I realized yeah, I was still able to see the first or, or the first guys, you know, everyone fighting there. And uh, I was telling myself, I'm like, oh, all right, my pace must not be too bad. So uh, that gave me a little bit of uh, some more confidence. You know, I was feeling good on the bike. And um, in the back of my head was a little bit of this arm pump issue. You know, I was like, man, I, I hope I don't get too smoked too quickly. But uh, obviously, I was just giving my absolute best. I, I, I wasn't giving up from, from lap one. And uh, I realized that, you know, I was able to reel them in one by one. And obviously, the top guys, the top five, was starting to open up a little bit of a gap. So um, I just went one by one. And a shame I didn't have a few more laps. I think if I would have had five, I would have been extra dead. But I think I would have been a little bit closer, too. So. Um, I think that was a pretty good training. <laughs> now you were telling your crew chief that in the last couple of laps, coming out of the carousel, the bike was just sliding beautifully. This whole weekend, we, we obviously been working on a few things with the bike. You know, there's always the good, there's always the bad. And uh, out of the, uh, the the second gear corners, which obviously there's a lot of those, um, the bike was, you know, reacting in a little bit different way. But uh, coming out of the other corners, were you know third or fourth gear corners, uh, the bike was actually sliding super, like super, super nicely. So that was actually pretty enjoyable. The last laps, you know, obviously the tire was pretty, pretty smoked in the rear, and it was just you know coming down the carousel, you know, the bike would lift up a little bit and it just burned the whole thing around. So definitely had fun. It was, uh, it was funny because you know I was so done with my hands that in some parts of the track I was just grabbing and just letting the my wrist fall on the throttle, just opening completely. So. Difficult but fun. Congratulations, man. It's a good ride. Thank you. I just want to say thank you to uh, my whole M4XR Suzuki team for, for all their work, for the great bike, and for always believing in me.